Hello, my name is Bhavan Kumar and we are learning Kubernetes cluster setup for high availability. In my last video, I have shown you that I am going to use AWS platform and I have created ELB load balancer and security group and four instances where I am going to use three instances for master nodes and one for the worker nodes. So here, last time we have seen that this machine was stopped, but I have started these all machines and uh, it's now put it on my desk, uh, laptop. So you can see that I have master one, master two, master three and worker nodes. So there are some basic, con there are some basic uh, setups which is required to uh, run and deploy things smoothly. So right now I am going to set up passwordless authentication in between. You can also use, if these machines are into Active Directory, you don't need to put your these, uh, these machine into the passwordless authentication. But if I am, as I am using independent EC2 instance, I don't have any AD, so Active Directory, so I can use passwords, passwordless authentication at here. So for passwordless authentication, I have generated SSH key with the help of this command. And I have the key. So I need to copy this key from master one to the remaining nodes. So what I'm going to do is basically, I'm just going to extract the public key, which I have generated through SSH key gen. So now I have to copy it, copy, and I will, I'll copy this all, uh, this all, I will copy this public key in all machines. So, so I'll go to the authorize and there I will put, uh, I have to do the multi paste option. Okay, so this is done, save. Now what I need to do is basically check that am I able to connect with or not. So let's say I need to take IP address. So IP address of master one is basically this. So skewed from master one, I'm trying to SSH the other node. And uh, here we go. So right now I am logged in on master one and now I can go to the master two without asking any password. And the same thing I can with, do with the master three and master uh, worker node one. Okay. Okay, so the uh, next step, what I need to do is basically put the IP address and the host name of all machine on all machines because I don't have any DNS server at here which can resolve my host name and the IP address as well. So for this I need to create a local DNS on us on itself Linux machine. So what I need to do is basically go in EC2 is sudo vi etc host and there I need to put the information so here I have created the document. So now I will paste. Okay, so this is done. So let me check once again that I'm putting the same IP address that I've give that I've mentioned at here. So this is all my pub private IP address, not, not a public pub IP address. So I'm going to check now, just doing cross check. So this is 63, 63 is the master one, and uh, 169 is, okay, so 169 is master two. 169, 169 is master two, and uh, master three is three dot, 3.120 and what about worker node so it's 49 so it's all good 
So we are good now. Save it. Okay, so next next thing is that we need to deploy the basic configuration for Kubernetes cluster before initializing your Kube ADM to become a master, to be master and worker node to be worker node. So the basic deployment has to be done. So uh, right now I'm not going to show you that how you can do the basic deployment, but uh, basic setup deployment. But if you are not aware about it, so you can check my previous video. I'll put the link of the installation of basic setup of Kubernetes cluster in uh, below of this video. So right now I'm going to I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to do the basic setup uh, for now because it's going to take some time. So I'll resume this video once I'm done with the basic Kubernetes cluster setup. Okay, so we are back. So uh, I am done with the basic configuration setup for the Kubernetes cluster. So let me take you through it. Uh, once you can also check the video that I have posted and I'll put the link below as I said earlier. So let me tell you that what I, what I have done. So I have created servers with hardware 2GB and 2GB 2V CPU and I am I'm using CentOS 7 right now and uh, for now you have also seen that I have also put the uh, I have also created local DNS for the all host in all host server and I also disable the SU Linux and uh, stopped firewall for now and uh, so these things I have done basic setups so it's done now so that's it for this video and uh, let me uh, tell you that in the next video that I'm going to initialize the cube ADM on master 1 and then I'll join other two master 2 and master 3 uh, as a uh, as a high av high availability into Kubernetes cluster. So that's it for this video. See you in the next video.